The only spiritual life you need is not to react. That is calmness, the greatest heritage of the world, the greatest power you can have. If you can learn to be calm, you will solve all problems. This is something you should always remember when you are perfectly calm. There is no time for anything. Karma, illusions, everything becomes null and void. If you remain calm and unconcerned about the situation or its outcome, including what may happen tomorrow, then everything is fine. And there is no need to worry. The most important aspect of a spiritual life is to avoid reacting or attempting to change others. And instead, practice not reacting to anything at all. Live in the present moment and avoid dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. Embrace the eternal now where all is well. Don't travel the world and avoid reacting to your body or thoughts. Practice being a witness and cultivate stillness in your mind. Learn to understand your thoughts and emotions without reacting to them. A serene and tranquil mind, like a still lake, can reflect the beauty of its surroundings, while a turbulent lake cannot reflect anything quiet. Your mind, when your mind is still, you can observe without becoming attached. Observe your thoughts and allow them to pass without trying to change anything else. Don't follow your thought patterns, just let them come and go. Do not buy into your thoughts, and do not fight against your feelings. Simply observe them, but do not relax, do nothing. Do not hold on to your anger. Do not react to your doubt. Whatever you react to is a product of the mind. It is only the mind that gets angry. It is the mind that becomes stubborn. It is the mind that wants to regulate. It is the mind that gets hurt. But if you master your mind, where is the anger? Where is the depression and where are the reactions to situations? They will not exist. The enlightened state is only eternal peace. Peace is the essence of consciousness. Consciousness is always peaceful, always happy, and has nothing to do with conditions. All conditioning comes from the mind. Do not try to alter conditions. Do not try to change situations every time you use your mind to try to change something. You are inflating your ego, and that will give you even more problems. Simply learn to control the mind, making it passive and serene, and you will find that things will be better than you expected. Recognize yourself as nothing, do not see yourself as anything, and always keep in mind that absolutely nothing needs to be done. And this is how you become happy. It's full joyful when there is nothing in the mind. Happiness itself becomes predominant. And when doubt comes, when anger comes to you, when fear comes to you, do not entertain them quickly. Shift the focus of your mind and do whatever it takes to rid yourself of the situation that arises. But do not entertain fears, doubts, and anger, and do not allow your thoughts to become bigger than you. And no matter what your thoughts say, do not feed them. Remember that. Your thoughts are not your friends. Your thoughts try to confuse and mislead you. They will tell you all kinds of things. Do not listen to your thoughts, even your good thoughts, which transcend everything. What matters for your bliss, for your joy, and your happiness are your thoughts and you don't need to reserve a time for meditation. You can do it while driving your car, while at work, or while listening to music. It's just being aware of yourself and who you really are. I realize that the rest is a projection of your mind in this universe, my friends, is an optical illusion. You look at the movie and see all kinds of cowardly things happening, but then you catch yourself and say it's just a movie, isn't it? And so it is with life if you observe everything that is happening in life. You observe, you look, you see. However, never react. If you are never for or against, if you understand this, you become free if you are what you are seeking. The answer is always within you alone. And there is nothing in the external world, for the external world is an emanation of your own mind, your own thought, and your own imagination. If you created this world, the only way to awaken is through silence, not through the analysis of facts separating what is good and what is bad, but rather through simple silence. Abandoning all concepts, all wounds, all dogmas and concepts, abandoning these things daily. The greatest truth is to exclude and not to add so empty yourself totally and completely. Of all your ideas, your feelings, everything must be emptied. And when you become totally and completely empty, there is nothing you need to do to fill it again. And realization is emptiness. It is the self. It is your true nature. And no matter how many times I tell you, you are still thinking, judging, coming to conclusions, and trying to solve your life. Let go completely. Absolutely completely. If you must let go, let go so completely 
that you will not feel any body, no mind, no actor, nothing. That's what I'm saying. You're not going to turn into a vegetable where you just sit like a log and contemplate your navel. And if you're listening to me correctly for everything you're doing right now, you'll feel happier than you've ever been in your life. It's because you'll realize that none of this matters, and you'll know that there's no one really doing anything I will make to go. If pain was completely eliminated, if you are the perfect and mutable self, and nothing else exists, and nothing else has ever existed, and nothing else will exist, there is only one high and that is you and rejoice it is only one this I is consciousness, and when you follow the personal I to the source, it becomes the universal I which is consciousness, and you begin to control yourself, begin to realize your divine nature and you do this by being quiet. It's the quickest way to realize to be quiet. Don't abandon thoughts, abandon the mind, abandon everything. The optimal response is to have no response at all when a thought or feeling arises, a reaction follows shortly after. This is such a routine that one might not even be aware that every single thought and emotion triggers a reaction as a result. You are entirely at the mercy of your thoughts and emotions operating on autopilot with no control. When you focus on the so-called future, your attention is consumed by it, and as your attention directs energy, more and more thoughts arise, resulting in a thousand fake scenarios and solutions. This is pure delusion and those who label others as delusional are themselves slaves to the mind's false reality. These mind attacks cause significant pain, but there is a simple approach to transcend it all. It's straightforward, but it may be difficult and uncomfortable to practice at first. Don't react to anything having no response is the most effective approach in order to transcend the reactive tendencies. It is necessary to trust in your being and relinquish all efforts. Understanding the nature of awareness is crucial because it can lead to quick results. Being aware of the power you hold is important because awareness is a healing energy that's imbued with pure love. By consciously aligning with your being and not reacting to anything, you allow your body and mind to begin healing themselves. It's vital to observe your thoughts and emotions without identifying with them or reacting to them. This allows emotions to flow and release directing healing energy towards them. Don't be discouraged if it seems difficult in the beginning. Just keep practicing the experience of not reacting. Remember this is not a mental activity, it's about releasing effort and trusting in your being. This process may seem scary for your ego and its programming, which means your body might feel uncomfortable. However, you will soon discover that you are neither your body nor your mind. As you start to refrain from reacting, you will realize that you're not even in control of what's happening. Thoughts arise on their own, within consciousness and emotions in the body, come and go on their own. You'll see that everything is just happening and this realization can be very transformative. Life is just flowing, and when we resist its flow we suffer. Instead of thinking about life to solve problems, realize the power in not reacting by doing so. You take your energy back from things that don't serve you, just be and sit within yourself, and allow the storm to come because it will always pass. Remember, everything comes and goes, but you as awareness or God consciousness are always present. Become aware of that sense of awareness and stop reacting to the objects within. Awareness that come and go, just stay with yourself. Deep within yourself. You are peace. You are boundless. You are the observer of experiences, not the victim of them. You embody all things. You are the very essence of love. Like space, that remains unchanged by what moves through it. Just be let go of the need to believe in yourself, with conviction or doubt. Instead, know yourself fully and without hesitation.